This instructional video was developed to help working groups successfully use the IEEE Standards Association Microsoft Word template. This particular video illustrates the steps for adding annexes, a bibliography, and cross-references to a draft. The template is updated frequently. Please make sure when starting a new standard that you have the most recent template. There are two types of annexes in an IEEE standard, normative and informative. Normative annexes are official parts of the standard that are placed after the body of the standard for reasons of convenience or to create a hierarchical distinction. Their content is necessary for the implementation of the standard. Informative annexes are included in a standard for information only. Informative annex material is considered part of the balloted document and copyrighted to the IEEE. As such, it shall be submitted to the IEEE SA Standards Board and is not subject to change after approval. When you are ready to insert an annex into your draft standard, select the Annexes tab and from the pull-down menu under Add-ins, choose Insert Annex Title. Type in the title, choose Informative or Normative, and press OK. The new annex has been created and you can begin inserting content. It is easy to create annex headings and subheads in the template. Go to the Add-ins tab in the menu, choose Annex Headings, and click Level 1 for a first level annex header. For a second level annex subhead, click Level 2. For a third level annex subhead, click level 3, and so on. First level headers are 12 point Arial bold, second level subheads are 11 point Arial bold, and third level subheads are 10 point Arial bold. After you've entered body text, highlight it, go to the Add ins tab, and click on Body Text. The body text is justified 10 point times New Roman, just as it is in the main body of the standard. The process of inserting a figure into an annex is the same as it is in the base standard. For a refresher on inserting figures, please view Writing Your IEEE Standard, Adding Figures and Tables in the Microsoft Word template. To number and title your annex figure, please place the cursor under the newly added figure. From the Figure pull-down menu, select Annex Figure Caption. Figures are automatically sequentially numbered within the draft with a letter that corresponds to the annex. Add a relevant title, and you have successfully labeled an annex figure. The process of inserting a table into an annex is the same as it is in the base standard. For a refresher on inserting tables, please view Writing Your IEEE Standard, adding figures and tables in the Microsoft Word template. To number and title your annex table, place your cursor above the newly created table, and from the Table tab in the Add-ins menu, choose Annex Table Caption. Tables are automatically sequentially numbered within the draft with a letter that corresponds to the annex. Add a relevant title, and you have successfully labeled an annex table. Many standards include a bibliography. The bibliography shall always be an informative Leonard annex that appears as either the first or last annex of the standard. When you are ready to insert a bibliographical annex into your draft standard, select the Annexes tab, and from the pull-down menu under Add-ins, choose Insert Bibliography Annex, and press OK. Now begin listing bibliographic references. Bibliographical entries should be arranged in alphanumerical order and numbered in keeping with IEEE format that includes brackets and the letter B. To automatically number your bibliographic entries, highlight all the reference entries and go to Insert Special. Bibliographic Entry. The sources are automatically labeled 
and these numbers will serve as a cross-reference tool for sources cited in text. Cross-references are a wonderful tool that allows standard users to easily navigate between areas in the PDF of a standard. By setting a cross-reference, an internal link is created which can redirect standard users to another section of the document. Cross-references also aid in the development of a standard because they automatically renumber themselves to accommodate new figures or tables as the draft evolves. Anything that is automatically numbered within the Microsoft Word template can be cross-referenced. To create a cross-reference to a bibliographic entry, for example, click on the Insert tab on the menu bar, click the Links button, and select Cross-reference. In the pop-up box, the reference type should be Numbered Item, and the Insert Reference To box should be set to Paragraph Number. In the list, select the corresponding bibliographic cross-reference and press Insert. A number shaded in gray appears within the draft. This shading indicates that the cross-reference has been set and a link has been created. The steps are the same for creating a cross-reference to a table or figure. From the Insert menu, click the Links button and select Cross-reference. In the pop-up box, choose Table as the reference type and only label and number for Insert Reference. Choose the appropriate table or figure and click Insert. At this time, you should have a handle on the major features of creating your draft standard using the IEEE Microsoft Word template. Remember to always save your document as a .doc.